Hi, this is Jessica DeMassa in the Guidewell Insights Lounge, and I'm here at Singularity University's Exponential Medicine. I have two special guests with me right now. I have Yusuf Savi Harb, and he is the founder of Happy Tech. And also I have with us, um, we have Maria Filipova, and she is with Deloitte in their innovation team. Is that right? Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us here today. It's a pleasure to have you. So tell me a little bit. I've been hearing a lot of buzz about Happy Tech, so tell me what this is. Well, thank you very much. Uh, what we do, we measure arrhythmias using only your smartphone okay. uh, without any external hardware. The situation right now is the patient with arrhythmia has to go through a lot of stress and a lot of time in order to detect it. It's infrequent, so when they go to the doctor, it's gone. They right. feel something at home, they go to the doctor, it's gone. Then they get uh, equipment that has a lot of wires. They have to walk, wear with it for two months in order to find it. And the cost and the work that the cardiologist and the staff has to do is pretty high. So what do we say? Something you have with you every day, you take out, you turn on the measurement, and it's as simple as putting your finger on the camera, waiting one minute, and taking a measurement. Wow. So it's for a hundredth of the cost, you're able to do the same what's going on in, in standard medicine. Wow, that's pretty impressive. I can see why everybody is buzzing about this. So how did you come to how did you come to be involved with Deloitte? So it's really cool. Like in the Netherlands, they hosted a Singularity Deloitte Innovation Challenge, okay. and we competed against uh, startups in to 30 to 30 startups in the region, and we won. And so that was a beautiful start uh, of 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 sort of say where we are now. And they helped us get here, decorate the booth, and also <laughs> they have obviously a very big network and expertise on this area in right? the U.S. So. so Maria, talk a little bit about that. So um, obviously, so what, I mean. It, Tell me how um, Deloitte looks for startups to invest in. What made this such a, such a promising um proposition for you guys. Sure. Um, so the startup challenge that Joseph was referring to was dedicated to a very particular area of healthcare that we believe is ripe for disruption. Okay. And it has to do with the way we do work. So we are looking at the future of work in healthcare and we're applying to that D domain all kinds of exponential technologies. So Yosef's startup is a good example of taking the cardiologist mm -hmm. and putting it in your pocket. Right. There are countless other examples where we are now deploying the crowd, we're deploying um, image recognition and cognitive technologies, and we're deploying robots to think about the workforce of the future in healthcare and how it is augmented rather than eliminated or disrupted by technologies. Okay. We are positive that, that all that exponential technology is actually a, a very powerful thing in healthcare, and we're taking it and embracing it as an augmentation rather than a um, negative piece of it. And are you finding that it's easier to get adoption by taking it as an augmentation rather than as a disruption? Tell That's me a little right. bit about that. That's right. We hear a lot of um, buzz and a lot of negative assumptions about technology and how it's replacing jobs. In reality, we believe that there is a, um, a smart way to do this and to test it in a safe environment and then scale some of these solutions. So when we think about the role of nurses and physicians in, in our healthcare system, they're all overwhelmed and stretched between clinical care and all the administrative burden yeah. that we keep putting on them. Yeah. So there's a whole host of tools that we can give them that will allow them to focus their energy in um, the, the areas where the ma that matters, exactly. the patient care. And, and that's kind of what we intend to do. We don't want to replace the cardiologist. Sure. We just take part of the mundane tasks uh, that can be automated and free up more time so they can do more meaningful procedures. 30% of the visits are unnecessary. Right. So a cardiologist's schedule is crazy. Um, so this really not only helps out the patient, but it helps out the provider as well. Otherwise it doesn't work. Right. If you offer only one thing for the patient, that's what you hear all the time. We are not waiting for extra work because our, we are overloaded with work. So if you give us extra work, we're probably not going to use it. So there's three parties. You have the doctor that needs to be happy, insurance needs to be happy, and the patient. And aligning those three is a, is a lot of learning. And that's is pretty challenging. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you know, so there, we, we have a lot of startups that are here in the innovation lab with us yeah. and we have a lot of startups that are looking to break into healthcare. Give us some good advice. What's the advice? How do you get in? 
Uh, get in where? Into the healthcare market. What's the easiest way to get into the healthcare market? Or how, what would you recommend for somebody looking to do it? Well, I, I, I'm an aerospace engineer, so I okay. kind of rolled into it. Oh, I, oh, I that's didn't, like, perfect, consciously... because I keep hearing that disruption is coming from outside of healthcare, yeah. so perfect. I was working on sensor, and I found it way more interesting to work on people instead of machines. Interesting, okay. And then you get in there, and you realize how interesting and strange sometimes healthcare is, and it's a figure time to figure out. Like, there's a lot of expertise around here. Everybody has a, has a piece of the puzzle, so to say. And the challenge is combining them together in a way that, again, the three people, the patient, the doctor, and insurance are happy. Good. Um, and yeah. so from your perspective, you know, with Deloitte, why look to the startup community? We're excited to, um, to look at the startup community as one part of the ecosystem that we're building. We are very deep in all the um, intricacies of healthcare. We're the largest healthcare consulting firm. And we come in with a lot of expertise on what are the established players in the industry need. What we also um, are building out in our ecosystem and the partnership with Singularity University and the startups is that um, new expanded tool set of solutions we can bring, bring to the old problems. And we do believe that with the challenges we're facing with healthcare today, we can no longer rely on the established tool set to solve them. Right. And so for us, we bring in that expertise and we augment it with the exponential technologies to really help established players in healthcare to safely experiment, identify the solutions that work from those who don't, right. and scale those. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that's really the, the path to adoption. Yeah. And you can look at the future of work technologies, like anything that has to do with digital, artificial intelligence, cognitive, and also blockchain. Right. And that would be the path, in our yeah. view, to adopting them in large-scale solutions. Excellent. Well, thank you both for joining us here yes, in the Guidewell Insights Lounge. It was a pleasure to meet you both, Maria, Joseph. Thank you so much. Same this here. is Jessica DeMassa from Exponential Medicine in the Guidewell Insights Lounge. Cool. It's a wrap? Oh, no.